Hi people, it's Archivist here, and on my continued coverage for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, we're looking at classic spec ops in today's video. And wow, this completely caught me off guard. I mean, spec ops in general as an overall mode is probably the most surprising aspect of Modern Warfare in that there's a lot of different ways it approaches the traditional idea of what spec ops is. But classic spec ops, man, it is brutal as hell and I love it. So what I think this particular mode is about is that the developers will cycle in different uh, missions that are clearly very challenging. And I suppose the challenge here is can you beat this mode while it's available? And I remember reading the description saying that it's a replayable curated experience where your proficiency with specific weapons, kill streaks, and other tools will be tested. And I thought, yeah, test. I know what that means, you're just going to put me in a standard campaign replay mission, it's going to be easy, there's no problem here. But then I started playing the mode where you have to hold out on a hill in a little village against oncoming enemies, and at first I was like, yeah, this is going to be easy, you're giving me miniguns, you're giving me turrets, oh, I'll be no problem at all. Uh, and the first round, yeah, it was okay, not too difficult, not too difficult, but then... By the second round where they start firing mortars at you and you have huge number of enemies, it gets really difficult. And if you get even further than that, they start lacing the village with smoke and it gets really difficult. And I have to say, I really love it because I remember back to Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops. Look, I enjoyed it. It was a decent mode, uh, a, a reasonable third pillar to the experience. But I remember thinking it was kind of like I was just going through the motions when I played it. it it wasn't overly difficult and getting three stars on some of the missions was pretty easy. But here, just beating the mode, just beating the mission that they have on offer is genuinely not easy. Like, I don't think it's going to be the most overwhelmingly challenging thing to beat. But I am so glad that they've made this kind of tricky. Like, you really do have to consider things like positioning, make sure that when the mortars are firing on you, you're using a sniper to take them out. And even with the sniper, there's gravity affecting your bullets, so you have to make sure you aim just above them in order to take them out. There's a surprising amount of elements just in this one mission that you have to consider. And, I mean, to some extent, there's a little bit of a roll of the dice in terms of the people you're playing with because I was just playing in a public match and the guys I was playing with, they weren't the best. I mean, uh, towards the end of the gameplay, they all went down and I did want to revive them, but there were so many enemies in the village that if I'd have gone to do it, I would have been shot to death quite quickly. But you really have to make use of everything, even things like the stims you use as you get overwhelmed as enemies do damage to you because you can go down pretty quickly if you're not careful and you have to stay within the bounds of the village and you can get flanked all over the place although at first they all seem to be coming from the front and it seems pretty manageable because you reckon you're just going to get them into a kill box they have a very um I suppose you'd call it like an intelligent routing system where they'll go around the left and right and if you're on the rooftop you can find them coming up behind you quite quickly and although this is based on a campaign mission uh, the difficulty here and the complexity of what you have to do is ramped up considerably i think they did at least in the part i'm playing on the wind mechanic isn't there so when you're sniping in the distance you just have to consider gravity it doesn't seem to move left or right at all which is fine it's already tricky enough uh, but yeah it, it's really an intense fantastic mode and i have to commend the developers as i seem to be doing on everything in this game i'm really liking it like this could very easily be my game of the year and i'm not sure what the last time i even considered a call of duty game as being a potential game of the year contender for me uh, but modern warfare is doing it uh, i mean to be honest with difficult missions like this maybe if you go back a few years i wouldn't have really liked it but if you look at some of the videos i was making earlier this year i got into a game called sekiro shadows die twice which is of the uh, sort of soulsborne uh, series and it got me to really appreciate the effort in overcoming a challenge in a game, even if in order to overcome it, you must fail over and over and over. But in every time you fail, you learn something different. Like the first time I was playing this, I didn't even consider trying to take out the mortar fire. But uh, after quite a few losses, I realized, look, it's not even an option. You have to take them out in order to make sure that you're not getting too much damage from a long range. 
and that's what I like about it. I, I think it's a ballsy thing to do. They're not just saying, hey, here's a mission, complete it, go through the checklist, do whatever, what have you. Actually think about what you're doing, play together, keep your teammates alive if you can, and be highly situational aware. And there is definitely a running pattern in this game of challenge just across the board. The uh, core spec op modes is quite difficult. The multiplayer is pretty damn tricky. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's the hardest time I've ever had in a, a multiplayer game uh, of the COD series. And the campaign, well, I mean, obviously you have the different difficulty levels there, but on regular, yeah, there are a few places you can easily die. But I suppose this is what I think is probably the difficulty I respect the most, because I can tell that it's something that promotes practice to make perfect. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.